Hey guys, Copper Gardens here, Dave Burns, going to show you a little, um, uh, I started to say trick, I don't think it's tricky, but it's, um, I'd like to have some curvy, frond looking, grassy things. There's a technical term for you. This is going into the brass gate that we've been showing you clips of here. Uh, this is early in 2018, and we're building these gates for a client home down in St. John, and um, this nice little curved section of brass has a good bit of strength and rigidity because we cut it out of a piece of, of solid tubing. Uh, this one was uh, three quarter inch diameter to begin with, and this one looks to be half inch diameter to begin with. And what I'm going to show you is the, the few steps that it takes. And it's kind of a painful process in that uh, there's no machine made that I'm personally aware of that makes this drop dead simple. So let me show you quickly what we do. I'm going to move the camera a couple of times, so stick with me here. But the first thing we do is to uh, use this <coughs> tube, this little piece of pipe. I think it's two and a half inch uh, iron, old antique iron pipe. On one end I've welded a clamp that raises it up an inch and a half, two inches. The other end another uh, clamp Excuse me, I don't mean I weld it on a clamp. I mean I weld it on a piece of bracketry to which I can clamp it to my table. I weld it to the other end, and then on this end, where it's raised up a little bit, I have this old, uh, not old, a nice shot bag, and that's my bending device. So here I'm going to set the camera away a little bit. And uh, what I do to start with is I grab uh, a piece of tubing that I don't see right now, so I'll just do it by hand, and I just literally bend against the shot bag repeatedly as I'm pulling it out of the pipe, and I can go on as long as I want and put in as much curve as I want, of course up to some point where it'll begin to crimp. That would be a whole different um, study for another day. I actually bend things much sharper than can normally be done by filling it full of pitch. That's a long story and a good video for another day, not today. So once that's bent, then I'll take any kind of a cutting device that's handy, because uh, it doesn't matter much. At this point, I'm just going to cut it off. Uh, and this time, I chose a short length, about, what is that, 14 inches. And then I go over to my band saw, and here's where it gets a lot more tricky. I'm going to um, trim it. <clears throat> I forgot my uh, ear covering. I have to have ear protectors because my tinnitus is already so bad. But I'm going to go through the band saw and slit this piece of tubing perfectly crossways. When I say perfectly, that's tongue in cheek, because it doesn't always come out perfect, but I'm going to show you how we kind of correct that and end up with the finished product. So here we go. comparatively easy because it's a fairly short piece. Imagine doing that on five or six feet of tubing and that gives you two pieces. Now you have two two chunks of grass. They need a lot of finishing work but that's that's easy to do as well. And by the way you bend it purposefully a little different over the length of the tubing you've selected and that way each uh, they're slightly different when they, these are actually quite about the same but in, uh, in an ideal situation they would be slightly different. So here we go back to um, back into the table. Let's see if this will work out with the camera. And I like to slide it in under something. In this case, I use a rolling head pry bar. It gives me a little stability. I slide it in there, and then I go to um, uh, my air tools and I polish off the rough edges and round off the tip. This will just take a few seconds. Here. <coughs> Now 
my point in even doing that, that's not all. Of course, it'll take quite a few more minutes to do this piece and all the others. I think I made, um, doesn't matter, does it? Probably close to 40, 40 pieces. Um, it'll take quite a little bit more time to really refine and finish it so that there's no sharp edges. Rounding the tip nicely and finishing it off, I'll actually splay the bottom end a little bit to get a little more profile. Um, but there you go. There's a, there's a nice little piece of grass blowing crossways in the wind. Uh, I make it look a little easier than it really is because I've done about a million of them. But it's a fairly simple process, starting with a piece of pipe, a simple relatively cheap piece of Chinese junk bandsaw, and um, a little thing clipped to the table, and my air tool. And there you go. A nice little, uh, nice little brass grassy frond. So enough for now. See you next time. Thanks for watching.